All right, we were out here at the uh, little ranch called the uh, Surprise Valley Hot Springs. I don't know if you can see that there. The sun's kind of in the wrong spot. But there's quite a bit of uh, hot springs out here going on. You can see the uh, the clouds or the steam from the uh, the hot springs. There's actually quite a bit out here. We're about 30 miles uh, west of the area of interest where all these earthquakes are occurring. And there's lots of springs out here, so there's definitely uh, some heating going on underneath the ground, which is not abnormal. But we're going to head over there in that general area right there where uh, those earthquakes are happening. All right, here we are at the uh, Sheldon National Antelope, Antelope Refuge. Uh, the entrance to the uh, state park, I guess, here. And uh, this is a general area. <clears throat> in, and, in, in and around this area is where they've been having the earthquakes. Um, not in one particular area, but it's all around this area. Uh, three, mid threes and the four, uh, four six that they had, or 4.6 that they had, um, was it yesterday or the day before? was just to the east of here about a mile I'm gonna do a little panoramic for you guys so you guys can see uh, what's out here only been up here about 10 minutes and I haven't felt any kind of earthquake activity yet I have no service whatsoever as far as cell phone service goes I had to take about 50 miles of back roads, dirt roads, and gravel roads to get up here. So, And I haven't seen one person while I'm up here. Not a lot of houses up here. Actually, there's no houses whatsoever. No power lines. Uh, nobody up here. I am the only one here at uh, Sheldon National Antelope Refuge. I haven't seen any antelope yet, but uh, we're going to go up that road right up there to the state park and uh, check out the park and uh, see what's going on alright guys we're up here at the top of uh, Sheldon uh, National Antelope Refuge area uh, I could go up a little bit higher but uh, there's really no need to go up that high we are directly inside of the park in and around the area where the earthquakes have been occurring and elevation of this area is 6,566 feet, uh, as it shows here on my GPS. And uh, so far, no earthquakes, no smell of sulfur, nothing out of the ordinary yet. I did hear a couple low rumblings um, off in the distance. Now, whether that's earthquake related or Otherwise, I'm not sure. We're just going to let this camera sit here for a little bit, a few minutes, record some uh, some video. I'm going to walk around, see what's going on out here. This view right here that you're looking at is facing northeast off, uh, off towards the northeast area. Not for sure what's out there. There's not a whole lot out here either. So, hang out here. I'm going to look around, collect some uh, some rocks. I see some obsidian rocks here, it looks like. Um, yeah. I hope you guys enjoy the video. We'll, uh, we'll let it run for a few minutes here and see uh, what I can pick up. up a little bit make sure it doesn't loosen up any all right it's cold up here about 41 if that's cold
And if you're wondering, uh, let's see here, today's date. Let's go back, check on my phone. Not for sure what the date is today. <laughs> Aha, Saturday the 8th, and it's 10, 11 a.m. in the morning. You guys a little walk around here show you the general area we're on top of a I guess a mountain called uh, bald mountain I guess that's what the sign says over here Pretty quiet up here.
All right, that's it for now. Uh, if there's some more video, I'm going to add it on here. I will be editing uh, a couple videos that I did take today. I'll look around, see what else is going on out here, and I'll be back in a little bit. All right, guys. Well, spend a little bit of time up here. No earthquakes <clears throat> that I can feel at the moment up here. And there's just a lot of obsidian, obsidian, is that what they're called? Obsidian type rocks. These black ones right here, shiny glass ones. There's also a lot of these types of rocks. I'm not for sure exactly what they are. That's it, pretty quiet, nobody up here. No earthquakes. No volcanic tremors. So we'll just have to keep an eye on this area. I might come back up here again if things get interesting. It was a long drive, but uh, it's kind of nice. Nice and quiet, peaceful out here. So that's it for now, COD Master 2014 reporting. <laughs> Reporting from Sheldon, Sheldon uh, National Antelope Park out here in Nevada. The upper epicenter of the uh, Nevada Earthquake Swarm 2014. That's it for now. Peace out. Have a good day. Alright guys, one last piece of video here. Stopped along the way. Uh, along the way back. Still inside uh, the Sheldon National Antelope Refuge. Got uh, some dry lake bed way down there. Just been checking these uh, areas of loose shell rock. I think there's shell. See if any, anything's falling down. I'm kind of out of breath because I went down there a ways. But I can't find anything that uh, even resembles uh, freshly fallen rock. So, I'll keep looking around. Still no earthquakes at the moment. I was able to get a... Uh, slight connection up on top of the hill up there to check the earthquakes and it doesn't look like anything has happened recently so maybe I came at the wrong time who knows but anyway yeah that's it for now peace out